Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Mass Doc channel on YouTube. Today we have a very interesting trick problem here. We were supposed to find a cosine theta if we're given this ugly expression of theta. The best way to start this one is to realize if this one is A, this is B, those are two angles. Okay, so if A is equal to arc cosine of 24 over 25, what you can do is draw a triangle here. Okay, since cosine means adjacent over hypotenuse that gives us square root of 24 25 squared minus 24 squared okay so for this case you have a 7 okay. so if this is angle A here what you can do is you write it out cosine of angle A is 24 over 25 and sine of angle A here is 7 over 25 okay those comes really handy later on Let's find out the same thing for angle B here. If it's a sine inverse of 15 over 17, let's draw a similar triangle here. Okay. Sine of angle is um, opposite over hypotenuse. Okay. That leaves this one, um, if you use a hypotenuse uh, triangle, Pythagorean theorem, you'll see this one is 8, 17 squared minus 15 squared. So let's write the similar thing here. We have a sine of B, that's equal to 15 over 17, and cosine of B is equal to 8 over 17. Okay. Once you get here, most of the stuff is done. So originally we were supposed to find a cosine of theta. Now recognizing that theta is really a minus B, okay, using the formula we can express this one as cosine a sine b plus now cosine is the odd function in that when you have a minus sign here I have a plus sign and um, as a matter of fact this is a cosine of b plus sine of a sine of b okay let's make sure we have everything <coughs> cosine theta is a minus b that's what we're given and then Let's expand this one, cosine and cosine. Cosine is one of this word I call selfish. In that cosine function wants all the cosine in the front. And it's opposite. In that it was a minus, it's a plus. Okay, if you look at the signs, the formula for sine, it's much more um, predictable. Okay, so cosine is selfish and it's opposite. So minus and gets to be plus and cosine stick together. So let's plug it in what we have found before, cosine of A. Okay, so all the way up here is 24 over 25. Okay. Cosine of B is 15 over 17. Okay, plus sine of A, we have a 7 over 25. And uh, sine of B, we have 15 over 17. Okay, I must have done something wrong over here. Let's say cosine of A. Cosine of B. Okay, this is 8. All right. Now, um, most of the teacher probably will want you to simplify a little bit more. So, 24 times 8, what I have is 192, okay, plus 17, uh, 15 times 7, I have over here is 105, okay. And then this big long 25 times 17 over here, I have a 425. So let's just simplify a little bit more. So 425 of 192, I have a 105 on top. So I have 297 over 425. Okay. Most teacher would prefer you actually to have it as a closed form. If you want to, you're more than welcome to convert into decimals. But for this particular case, it's probably not necessary. Alright, hope this helps and have a confident day.